Machine learning engineers sit at the intersection of software engineering and data science. They leverage big data tools and programming frameworks to ensure that the raw data gathered from data pipelines are redefined as data science models that are ready to scale as needed. Hey everyone, this is Kavya from Eduweka. Welcome to today's session on how to become a machine learning engineer. Before we begin, I'd like to address the agenda. Firstly, we will understand who is a machine learning engineer and what does an ML engineer really do. Then we will understand the skills needed to become an ML engineer. Also, we will talk about the roles and responsibilities of an ML engineer. And then we will address the salary and trends of a machine learning engineer. Also, we will talk about the companies hiring machine learning engineers. And we will conclude this session by talking about the future of machine learning. So without much ado, let's get started. Firstly, we will understand who is a machine learning engineer. Machine learning engineers are sophisticated programmers who develop machines and systems that can learn and apply knowledge without any specific direction. So they're basically just enthusiastic computer programmers, but their focus goes beyond specifically programming machines to perform tasks. So what they really do is they create programs that will enable machines to take actions without being specifically directed to perform those tasks. Now that we know who a machine learning engineer is, let us talk about what does an ML engineer do? Machine learning engineers are creators of the algorithms that allow a machine to find patterns in its own programming data, teaching it to understand commands and even think for itself. The artificial intelligence seen in automatic vacuums and self-driving cars is the thought children of these engineers. Researching new technologies and implementing them in machine learning programs is one of the many tasks that a machine learning engineer does. Finding the best design and hardware to use when building the robot or computer, developing tangible prototypes to show stakeholders, and also putting the machines through various number of rigorous tests to ensure their function is planned. So by now you must have an idea about what they do and who they are. So now let us understand what are the skills needed to become an ML engineer. The first most important skill is the programming skill. Computer science fundamentals are extremely important for machine learning engineers. They include data structures, algorithms, computability and complexity, and even computer architecture. You must be able to apply, implement, adapt or address them when programming. Practice problems, coding competitions and hackathons are a great way to hone your skills. So some of the programming languages that you must be familiar with is R language, Python, Java programming. So R language here is basically used for developing statistical software and data analysis, whereas Python lets you create, analyze and organize large chunks of data with ease. Also Java helps in data description. Moving on, the next important skill is probability and statistics. A formal characterization of probability and techniques derived from it are at the heart of many machine learning algorithms. These are a means to deal with uncertainty in the real world. Closely related to this field is of statistics, which provides various measures like mean, median, variance, etc. Also distributions like uniform, normal, binomial, etc. And analysis methods like hypothesis testing that are necessary for building and validating models from observed data is extremely important. Many machine learning algorithms are essentially extensions of statistical modeling procedures. Moving on, the next skill that is really important is understanding data modeling and evaluation. Now, what is data modeling? Data modeling is simply the process of estimating the underlying structure of a given data set with the goal of finding useful patterns like correlations, clusters, etc. and predicting properties of previously unseen instances. A key part of this estimation process is continually evaluating how good a given model is. Depending on the task at hand, you will need to choose an appropriate accuracy or error measure, example log loss for classification, sum of squared errors for regression, etc. and also an evaluation strategy like testing, training, split, sequential versus randomized cross-validation, etc. Iterative learning algorithms often directly utilize resulting errors to tweak the model. Examples are backpropagation for neural networks, 
So understanding these measures is very important even for just applying standard algorithms. So also applying machine learning algorithms and different libraries are very important. Standard implementations of machine learning algorithms are widely available through libraries or packages or APIs. Some of the examples are TensorFlow, Scikit-learn, but applying them effectively involves choosing a suitable model like the decision tree, nearest neighbor, neural net, etc. Also a learning procedure to fit the data as well as understanding how hyperparameters affect learning is really important. You also need to be aware of the relative advantages and disadvantages of different approaches and also understand how biases and variance works, overfitting and underfitting work, all of the basics of machine learning and how do you apply them. Data science and machine learning challenges such as those on Kaggle are a great way to get exposed to different kinds of problems. Also to become an ML engineer, you need to understand how software engineering and system design works. So at the end of the day, a machine learning engineer's typical output or deliverable is software. And often it is a very small component that fits into a larger ecosystem of products and services. You need to understand how these different pieces work together, communicate with them and build appropriate interfaces for your component that others will eventually depend on. Careful system design may be necessary to avoid bottlenecks and let your algorithms scale well with increasing volumes of data. Software engineering best practices including requirements analysis, system design, modularity, version control, testing, documentation, etc. are invaluable for productivity, collaboration, quality and maintainability. Now that we have discussed the skills needed to become an ML engineer, let us look at some of the major roles and responsibilities. Now the first and most important role is to create artificial intelligent products for the team. Well, this is achieved when we are able to create machine learning models of our own, right? What's more important is that we need to build efficient applications. The efficiency plays a really big role here. There are some responsibilities of a machine learning engineer, such as we need to be able to study some prototypes and then transform them into applications. We also have to be able to design and build our own machine learning systems. We have to be in a position where we put in some research to find the appropriate algorithms and tools necessary. And yes, we will be developing machine learning application based on what's required. Also, what's important is to select the right data set and to find the correct data representation methods. We also need to run machine learning tests and experiments to keep improving on our implementation for the use case. And lastly, we need to train the systems for top notch accuracy but sometimes you will have to retrain them again based on the changes in the requirement. Well, this sure does seem like a lot for now, but it really isn't that complex. Once you start learning and begin cracking the basics, it's extremely simple. Moving on, let's see some of the salary and trends of a machine learning engineer. According to the 2019 Indeed report, the best jobs in the US and Indian market is the machine learning engineer. What's more interesting is that the role of an ML engineer recorded a whopping 344% increase since 2015. The average salary for a machine learning engineer in India is rupees 6 lakhs 89,460 rupees. Whereas the average salary for a machine learning engineer in the United States of America is $112,000. So that's really a huge amount, right? Moving on, let's talk about some of the companies hiring machine learning engineers. The number of opportunities is exponentially growing and this is amazing because you'll be trending when you're a machine learning engineer and obviously you'll be paid really well. Everyone from Apple to Uber, Facebook to Salesforce, all these big players are on a constant ML engineers hiring spear and they obviously pay really high salaries for this. Now this takes us to the last part of today's session that is the future of machine learning. What is perhaps most compelling about machine learning is its seemingly limitless applicability. There are already so many fields being impacted by machine learning, including education, finance, computer science, and much more. There are also virtually no fields to which machine learning does not apply. In some cases, machine learning techniques are in fact desperately needed. Healthcare is an obvious example. Machine learning techniques are already being applied to critical arenas within the healthcare sphere, 
impacting everyone from care variation reduction efforts to medical scan analysis. The world is unquestionably changing in rapid and dramatic ways, and the demand for machine learning engineers is going to keep increasing exponentially. The world's challenges are complex, and they will obviously require complex systems to solve them. Machine learning engineers are building these systems. If this is your future, then there's no time like the present to start mastering the skills and developing the mindset you're going to need to succeed. With this, we come to the end of today's session on how to become a machine learning engineer. I hope you had a great time. Until next time, thank you.